when I was going through that whole process of applying for universities. It is a torture. Did you write any GRE, IELTS or uh, TOEFL exam for the admission process? It was not a requirement for me. There are scholarships, there are multiple scholarships and you can go just search them. There are so many of them. But of course, it's not easy because they are literally giving out money and it's difficult yeah. to get that money. better internship opportunity outside the university. Right now, my university is providing all the bills, providing me a bike to go to the university and come back. The entire UK, I would say, they have become so diverse that their own population is less and international students are very much. Hey guys, welcome to Palace Dunia Study Abroad. Today we have Himanshi Bajaj uh, pursuing her master's in uh, counseling studies at University of Edinburgh, Scottsdale, uh, Scotland. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hi, Himanshi. Hi. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Himanshi, can you introduce yourself uh, to our viewers and talk about a, a bit about your background? Sure. Um, so I am, my name is Himanshi Bajaj. I'm from Mumbai, India. And I am currently pursuing MSc in Counseling Studies from the University of Edinburgh. I have previously con completed my bachelor's from uh, KC Mumbai and I was in mass media back then. Then I shifted my course to psychology and I came here for Counseling Studies. Okay. Uh, and before anything about universities and all, I would like to ask like, what is Counseling Studies exactly? Uh, so basically psychology has various different fields. So it consists of clinical, counseling, organizational, behavioral, like a lot of categories. So in that, we work under counseling. So counseling is basically one-to-one -one therapy sessions and um, counseling related to like, we basically don't diagnose and we don't prescribe medications, which is the clinical aspect. We work on more verbal communications and therapy personal sessions and stuff like that. Okay, uh, like something like motivational kind of thing, like a speech? Not really, not really. It's more like art therapy, play therapy, one-to-one -one talking therapy. So just okay. by communicating ourselves using psychodynamic perspectives and person-centered perspectives, we just get to know oneself and right. just solve our issues that way. That's interesting. So, uh, Himanshi, when you were planning for your master's, like which all universities did you apply for? Uh, so basically my parents were only comfortable in sending me to UK because they have their relatives here uh, but in general when I saw the rankings uh, with terms of psychology and how well built the research is I found at least five to six universities in the UK which comes under the top 20 or top 100 in the world um, but my aim from number like from day one when I started my applications was University of Edinburgh because it comes under the top 10 universities it's literally i think rank five right now uh, in the world for psychology so oh. the research here regarding psychology and the modules that they've brought up is very different from everywhere else and it was just very interesting and inspiring something that you don't get in india yep okay that's that's nice i think you answered my question for why edinburgh as well so it was your targeted university if i'm not wrong it was it was from day one and did you write any GRE, IELTS or uh, TOEFL exam for the admission process? So uh, I did not, I, it was not a requirement for me because I was an international stu ICSE student till 12th standard but um, still I just gave IELTS because English requirements are pretty difficult here like they're very strict about them so I, I just gave my IELTS exam so it was just an Eng English requirement exam. Okay. Okay, okay, that's nice. And may I know what's the score? 8.5. 8.5 and, and like, uh, did they have any criteria for each band or something like a band requirement or something? Uh, so my university here, they required 7.5 in each and I cleared all of it. But basically, yeah, their requirement was 7.5 in each category, in each band category. Okay, that's, that's nice. 7.5 I and you got an 8.5 you mentioned, right? 8.5 average so like 888 yeah. okay that's really a wonderful score out of nine so that's thank nice thank you so uh how did you manage your uh sop and lrs like how uh what were the number of lrs you have uh, you have taken and uh, 
how was your sop structured like um so every university basically whichever university you're targeting for they in their syllabus and in their modules and in their website in general they have their resume format the sor format the lor format and every formats that they personally would want you to add so uh, with university of edinburgh they had already mentioned that uh, they wanted a letter of recommendation and what all points they required it so all i had to do was go to my professor give them the pointers and i just asked them to um, just answer all the pointers so they just answered all the pointers like I, as simple as um, the university wanted lor to have my um, group skills and communication skills and how i work on with that so my professor was asked to like give an example where i did certain group work which helped the course or whatever okay. so basically they give you the pointers and you have to answer them and then they'll be satisfied okay. okay it's kind of simpler than actually drafting a proper lor i guess so basically it depends right so university of edinburgh had that rule but when i apply for kings when i apply for other universities they did not have that rule coming to about your course structure uh can you talk a bit about your course structure on a whole uh like how, what's the duration of the course and uh, what number of credits and you know how's the course over that duration <clears throat> um so my course was for one year and it started from september and it ends this august so basically it's a nine month course okay. um i mean 9 10 months because they don't count the period where you're doing your research so like these 2 3 months like you're just doing your research so mm-hmm. the course is divided into two semesters that is mm-hmm. the first semester which is till december january and then from january onwards you have your second semester uh the okay. second semester ends around Ju- may june and then you have your three months to write your dissertation or it depends on your course so my course has a dissertation so the these last 3 months will be devoted to that okay and uh, what is the fee structure the fee structure how, did, yeah. how much did i pay for yes my what is course? the fee structure for so this it's 25, uh, course so 25 25000 pounds so when you com- convert that into lakhs it's around 25 lakhs okay. inr for, for the whole 9 uh, months for the whole for the entire 9 months yes and the number of credits you mentioned uh so the credits are divided so we have 200 each semester and then your research has another 200 credits so together okay. you then yeah so every course has like 50 50 credits so we have like some some semesters has three courses four courses some has two so it depends on which module which course you're in okay that's interesting i mean like uh, there's a first time i'm hearing about hundreds of credits uh, even even back in india it's mo- most uh, most of the colleges have like maybe 15 20 credits a semester right so, no, it, so it's a each different concept, course yeah each course has 50 credits so uh, and then it comes like your assessments your assignments and everything is divided like 20 20 then they are divided okay. and then okay. you get accordingly so like how is your class participation how is your summative how is your formative mm-hmm. and they are all together and then they give you your okay, credits okay that's nice and uh, what about the scholarships uh, like are there any uh, like good amount of scholarships and like how easy is it to get any scholarship there are scholarships there are multiple scholarships and you can go just search them there are so many of them but of course it's not easy because they are literally giving out money and it's difficult yeah. to get that money and you have to be a very above average type child to get that right it's not that yeah. easy and there are deadlines that you have to meet like for me why i did not get any scholarship was because i was very late uh, okay. by the time it was january because you start at september right so you're not yes. sure which university you're going to january february today if a ch- like today no student will know like they're still figuring it out yes so by that time all the scholarships are gone they are the deadlines are off okay. like they are yeah. most of the deadlines are till like chan december november and then you don't get any but it's yeah. of course difficult you have to show that you're above average to get it okay yeah i mean like uh, i totally agree with the timeline that you mentioned but uh, wouldn't it be okay it's a 9 months course i think that's the reason it won't be possible to apply for the 
for like upcoming year i guess so yeah, right you have to waste a sense. year then it makes sense you have yeah. to waste a year you don't go anywhere <laughs> yeah that that's a bad choice if you do if you do that <laughs> exactly uh so right now do you have any scholarship were you like lucky enough to find a scholarship then no 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 i was very late in my process and yes. by the time i realized that it was a thing i did not really get anything but there are a lot of opportunities if people are interested in applying and working for it okay yeah and uh, how about the uh, assistantship opportunities like do do does your course have uh, teaching assistantships or research assistantship opportunities do they offer anything uh, like that of course of course so university of edinburgh in general the campus inside them have a lot of job opportunities like tons and tons of opportunities it's just okay. you decide if you want it like it's hard work you have to devote your hours and as mm-hmm. long as you're willing to do that it's it's literally easy money and it's good opportunities like as simple as um coffee shop like they my university itself every campus has a has at least three cafes inside the university so okay. just to work at that cafe and just serve the students oh, who are okay. coming in so like okay. as simple as those jobs and then there are other jobs like research analyst there is like librarian posts there are so many posts inside university of edinburgh and you're open to apply for anything but like there are interviews there is process that goes yeah. behind it and then you have to devote those hours for so, them yeah, i think this is like uh, in, uh, like uh, you're talking in general like a uh, part times in general uh, and uh, so basically that's how that's how uk works in general if you're devoting okay. your hours whether it's one hour whether it's two hours you get paid for it okay so unless you are just doing it for like educational purpose under your tutor and just mailing them personally saying that yeah. i want to do this Yeah. every hour that you work for the university you're getting paid okay so yeah i mean like my my major concern was that uh, like my major question was that uh, when you do a ta or a ra uh, position like you work for a uh, teaching assistantship or a research a research assistantship position uh, okay. you might be getting funded for your courses right like for your whole, like probably a tuition waiver off or something So that is what I wanted to know. Like, does your university do that? Currently, I'm in my masters, and I haven't applied for those mm-hmm. positions that you're talking about. But I'm sh- I've heard of them. I have, of okay. course, heard of them. Uh, mm-hmm. But they are very niche, and they are in the form of research. So basically, okay. they only fund courses which they think they want to get mm-hmm. research, like any mm-hmm. topic that you bring, and they're like, okay, this is exciting. I want to re- I want you to research on that. so okay. they will fund for you otherwise um i'm really not sure if they do that so uh, you mentioned that uh, there are like tons of opportunities in terms of part time right so yeah uh, so d- d- are you working on in any one of those part time jobs working so university offers a yes. lot of them but for me i uh, because i am in the field of psychology i got a better internship opportunity outside the university Okay. So it was a better pay and a better education and a better thing to add to my resume. So I just mm-hmm. chose that over the okay, university. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so, so I know like uh, what are you working as and uh, what is the salary that you are able to earn right now? Um, it's it's a part time job, but it's basically support working for autistic individuals. So because I'm okay. a counselor, so basically yes. whatever like the autistic people are going through and their support plans, and we work on their. just positive behavioral support analysis and stuff like that yeah. so um and it's hourly around 11.53 pounds so which okay. comes up to around 1100 inr okay that's nice hourly, uh, that is. yeah uh, an hourly wage and like uh, on an average how many hours a week are you working so uh the visa permits only 20 hours per week for students so i sometimes do like 18 hours 16 hours it depends but like we are only allowed to do 20 hours okay uh, so so it's restricted completely unlike uh, canada yeah, where like you can work more i guess yeah okay got it yeah. no i actually i actually thought even uk might have uh, You know, so basically it depends as a student yeah as a student if you're working during the breaks your hours get doubled so if you're working 20 hours you can work 40 hours during the breaks but mm-hmm. during the term time because you're on your student visa and you're working yeah. you can only work 20 hours okay and you're working for full 20 hours for a pay of uh, around 11 dollars per hour that's what you mentioned pounds no sorry 
11 pounds per hour. Okay, that's nice. I, and uh, would it be sufficient enough for your uh, monthly expenses? Like, just a curious question. <laughs> um, I mean, it depends on how much you spend, right? Like my friends, I have friends who are doing the part-time and mm. they are paying their own rent. Only by doing the part-time, they're paying their rent and they're paying their daily expenses. Mm. So, it depends it completely depends on you how much are you eating outside how much are you going outside for me okay. personally i can manage it but like i do need to call home sometimes so it's subjective. but not all the time <laughs> yeah so it's, it's subjective. subjective got it okay so coming to your course and the future prospects so uh what are the future prospects of this counseling studies master's degree like uh, what kind of roles can you get into i think you have briefly mentioned a couple of them but in general like uh, something that you want to highlight uh, which someone can focus on like what kind of roles and does a university help you to find these uh, jobs like the full time opportunities once you graduate um so the university has like career groups and they have all these companies they have these like two three days where all mm-hmm. the global world companies come in the same rounds and you are free to like go apply and like do stuff like that um they also send us few mails of you know any openings that is available but basically my field opens up to um assistant psychologist a research analyst or uh, someone okay. who's working as an assistant counselor working mm-hmm. with play therapy art therapy just therapies in general so mm-hmm. um we can't really do private personal therapy we can only be assistants as of now because we are on a level 5 to 6 band so okay. in uk to be a counselor there are levels and you have to clear those levels to reach and have your own personal private therapy okay like that's okay. so so basically in a way at first you should start under a supervision or something if i'm not right correct okay. correct exactly so as you mentioned these many roles i'm assuming that the probability of landing into one of these jobs is a lot like it, it's it's high what would you say like how probable are you to get into a full time job once you graduate um so it's the chances are off to be fair there is a lot of um unemployment especially today like in this year especially is yes. going really bad for everyone yeah um but see it all depends on hard work like going back home also won't be very easy right you have mm-hmm. to work hard you have to apply see where it goes i am not going to be negative or positive about it i can see the market i i don't really have any friends who are getting jobs but i don't think so it's a phase <laughs> So it's a phase and I think it will pass away like eventually once you start working yeah. and you're Yeah. I mean like I totally agree to this fact because it's all over the world I mean in almost every field of uh, study is being affected like you know the students once they graduate are, are unable to find a full time job that easily at least in this one two years I guess uh, especially this year and uh, yeah, but and generally what they are use? even if they are getting jobs the pay is literally peanuts like we are grown adults with a yeah. degree that is really really something that we worked for mm-hmm. and today you just give come and give us peanuts like my friends who have graduated from really good institutes from india they are earning 30k 40k a month yeah. like that is just it's just peanuts right in today's That's world That's pretty less i guess like, like even even compared to the cost of living back in uk i think it's really like Correct. neck to neck if i'm not wrong Oh it's nothing if if i uh, 30k is around 300 pounds here which they literally spend like 300 rupees how we spend 300 rupees back <laughs> home they spend 300 pounds literally that way they're just like eh it's fine it's so not how are they managing uh, how are they even managing the day to day life if uh, this is the situation after they graduate Because they right earn now? also right it's it's early every wage every hour that you plan on spending there you get paid right okay. there is no labor for free every one okay. the the cleaning service guy whoever comes and cleans your house it's around 30 pounds 30. an hour for them 30 okay. pounds an That's hour a lot. <laughs> like imagine your house help coming back uh, home i wonder what were you thinking like like you're working part time you're running 11 and uh, <laughs> just uh, like exactly what would you be feeling like think about it think about it because labor here is actually expensive and like 
how we indians work here labor takes a lot of money so if you're planning on going by cab to somewhere it's so expensive it's literally triple the price and if you plan on going by bus or a train it's literally half the price it's just okay. that labor they don't want to waste their resources yeah so i i understand that i guess, i guess, i guess uh, working in a corporate or like a big shot office right now is not paying enough i guess and uh, but in general uh, what would you say like uh, uh, keeping this situation aside uh, what would you say in general like people landing up on uh, like in a full time job uh, how probable is that are you just trying to give me a reality check and be like listen just tell me the truth because i honestly don't know the truth see yeah. it's <laughs> it's a very chaotic world out there right you don't know the possibilities okay. i am not going to restrict myself only to edinburgh i will start applying to london manchester That's birmingham good, yeah. right so the possibilities yeah. are open and it's upon you like i am That's not going to give you a percentage of how much i think people will get jobs let's say let, let's say 100% you keep applying throughout the world you land up with a job i guess <laughs> i mean you work can you get that's yeah, as gotcha. simple as that i think i i think i understand what you're saying uh but yeah that that's actually a fact you keep trying and trying unless you find the right one it's exhausting i know it's exhausting so is finding universities i remember myself last year when i was going through that whole process of applying for universities mm-hmm. it is a torture to every child's mental health it's it's devastating to go through that whole process of first getting the marks and then applying and then deciding yes. and then yes. editing and then just it's chaotic yep and the visa and the preparation and then you come to oh, your place visa. i think uh, don't talk about the visa oh the visa <laughs> so it's... you you had a really you had to see run, there I are guess. deadlines you there is there are deadlines you need to cover and indian government does not do stand that right yeah, so there is your true. classes start at 12th and your visa guy is saying that oh i'm sorry your visa is not yours so like <laughs> it's a chaos <laughs> wait did that happen to you no no in general to my friends and like everyone else i had my visa ready but like it's a chaos visa process is a chaos <laughs> yeah i mean like well you crossed all those stages and now right now and i'm sure right. everyone else will as well it's it's it is something but you read somewhere right you do yes. something to read somewhere and i am sure everyone will yeah that's true so coming to the jobs uh, so as you mentioned the cost of living is pretty high but in general like uh, like what would you think that the average earning uh, like some how much would a, 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 someone graduating from your course would earn on an average per month or something like that or per year um so the it's 35 lakhs per year 35 okay. to 40 so uh, in in terms of pounds like how, how much would you say because uh, i i would like to know like to keep a reference you know if let's say someone is trying for a job he like Correct. he or she might want to know like what is the market right now like what is the it's market it's 35000 to 40000 so 35000 to 40000 pounds. pounds okay for a business management guy or someone who is working in the business field someone who is in the psychology field for it and computer it's a little more around 50 to 60 okay um, but it all depends on courses to courses for my course it's 30 to 40 okay and uh, like are there any particular companies that you want to give a shout out to like who hire frequently for your course through your university like which which hire like a lot of people like if you know any if if you know any so see counseling and mental health is something which is still growing right most yeah. people who are um into like research they go into big research companies which mm-hmm. the university provides so university of edinburgh itself has the biggest research faculty so mm-hmm. they just hire candidates from their own research faculty and put them there so there are a lot of other companies as well but there is no particular name that i can give you but mm-hmm. like there are a lot of private companies and private corporations that comes to us and they okay. can yeah okay uh so yeah i want to ask this one question uh so obviously when someone is coming for masters they're going to do their fair share of research look into articles and the college websites and etc but uh, 
would there be something that they should be prepared for like like let's say you you went there like you went to your university and you you had a culture shock or like a shock like seeing that okay okay things are like this i didn't expect this kind of thing like what are those in terms of university okay or the course um, or the curriculum or um, anything that you want to mention right so before coming here of course like you said we all do our research so i was going through everything and i texted this individual who already passed out from the university of edinburgh on linkedin and i asked if we could connect and i would like to know a few things and i gave them a call and we were discussing and by this point i had already finalized university of edinburgh and i was very set in my head that i'm going there no matter what Okay. and i picked up the call and she kept saying she was like oh you're going to go and she also graduated from mumbai so she knew which background i was coming from mm-hmm. so she was like i mean um it depends on you how you would like education to be but basically she gave me this reality check beforehand so i was well prepared it was a bit of a shock for me but i was well prepared that okay this is how it's going to be and then i came here and, and it was fine for me but for her it was a very very big shock because no one told her basically your the course that you're doing the classes will only be like once or twice a week so basically out of 7 days the classes are 2 days and 5 days you're free okay those 5 days are only and only for your self study they expect you to do tons and tons of self study they don't um they will just anything that you want to know like if you want to know about in the subjectivity they they will explain you the terminology and then give you tons and tons of readings and just be like go home and read those and you'll understand like that's okay. how the they work like if i give them a context and be like okay i want to understand about this they will send me five papers and they would be like oh read these papers and you'll know all about it okay so it's more right. of a self study so that is very new very self study and back home we are very used to like spoon feeding like yes. you give us notes you give us exams you give up you give us question banks you give us everything teachers yes. they will sit with you and they will explain you every word till you understand what you want here that's yeah. not the case if you don't understand that thing they will send you another paper they'll be like yeah. if you don't understand that paper read that paper if yeah. you don't understand that paper read that paper it's all about like your personal reading and your self study uh, so yes. for an indian for an indian coming from a place where i was literally spoon fed all the time that was a bit difficult for me but because i was well prepared because of that friend that just she was like listen to me if you're going you have to know that there is no you won't have regular classes you won't you will have a lot of free time but that is not actually going to be free because you'll be guilty because you need to self study you have to study and study if you don't you will just end up wasting your time and procrastinating i i think uh, this is kind of like a big shock for many many people many students i guess uh, like and in right. fact almost all over any country like any place outside india I think. all over the uk so if you talk to a lot of individuals who are in the uk right now and who don't self study who are you know always tuition teacher hai ya mummy hai ya someone hai sikhane ke liye they face a lot of issues here they are like ye kya padhai karwa rahe hai ye kuch nahi karwa rahe hai hafte mein ek din bula rahe hai and that's it that's about <laughs> it like uske baad tum jao ghar pe padhna hai to padho nahi padhna hai to mat padho it's as simple as that yeah so people don't like it people are like bhai 25 lakh iske liye nahi diye <laughs> but yeah, that's the truth yeah. right you yep. but then they are giving you the resources they are giving yes. you the books they are giving but you agar wahan pe wahan pe bhi aisa situation hai kya like uh, uh, like as you mentioned like two days class hai baki ke five days are like for your self study do all uh, all the students just go for part time and all like they don't they don't study Everyone. they don't study and something like that everyone does see cost of living itna zyada hai that if you want to go out even on a weekend you just want to go out for a meal a decent meal khane ke liye bhi 20 pounds out of your pocket it's as simple as that and you tum kitna rokoge na you you can't possibly just survive in a room you're out you're in your university life you want to explore everything so yes. almost everyone does part time and ye starting ke months mein nahi samajhta so september to december everyone party the asses off and they didn't care i'm sorry i am no if problem. i'm allowed yeah. to use that but <laughs> Mm-hmm. but basically they really like it's it's a very chaotic month and then after december everyone hates and they are like okay part time and they all start <laughs> looking for jobs and then someone is in some mcdonald someone is working in some restaurant someone is in mm-hmm. some cafe someone is in a bowling alley so it's like 
and then you have people all over the place <laughs> yep and i think i think you're lucky enough to not work that extensively <laughs> I mean, it's an experience to be honest. I don't like. I have my friends who literally left that, left hmm. a very important job for something like that because they're like, okay, it's an experience which you can only get when you work when you're, Chha, you yeah, know, that in makes your sense. masters yeah. doing part time. After that, so kya hai? Ek job le niya, bas usi mein hai. <laughs> This is the time when you can actually experience such culture Haan. and meeting new people and yeah, just <laughs> that's true. So as you mentioned, ki. 20 डॉलर लगता है एक बार बाहर खाने के लिए वुड वॉज देर एनी सिचुएशन की लाइक अभी लेट्स यू वेंट आउट फॉर फॉर वन मील एंड लाइक भाई दो घंटे का सैलरी उठ गया लाइक समथिंग लाइक दैट डू यू गेट कैलकुलेट ऑन दैट वे During the initial months, when I initially started earning, I used to be like, oh. But then savings ho jate hai, and after a while, you're just set into that whole concept. Starting with, I used to convert everything. When I initially came, my friends in London, they would be like, listen, the day you stopped converting is when you'll actually be able to thrive here because you can't. You see one pound and you're like, okay, one into two zeros because you'll just yeah. convert it into INR because your dad is sending you. <laughs> <laughs> from INR right but once yeah. you start earning on your own here and you start earning in pounds and you, your bank account has like that fixed amount that it has then you don't really compare and you're just like okay just grab it and like yeah. you'll be okay with it right basically it's Got a lifestyle it. and you'll be okay with it once you spend time in it it's difficult but change over aane ke baad i guess ha ek baar ek baar ghus gaye to fir thoda time do don't give and, up yeah So, uh, what was your first impression like when you went to Scotland, your university? Like, how was it? What oh, would you describe? Overwhelming, it? overwhelming. <laughs> the most I literally journaled it down, and it was the most overwhelming day for me. सारे मतलब एक तो इतने सारे रंग और प्रकार के लोग कहीं देखे नहीं थे. मतलब हर टाइप के लोग हैं एवरीवन इज सो स्वीट दे आर एक्सट्रीमली स्वीट लाइक आई डोंट नो हाउ टू डिस्क्राइब इट लाइक इट्स जस्ट हाय हेलो लाइक द वे दे आस्क यू हैव अ ग्रेट डे हाउ आर यू डूइंग एंड दे आर नॉट यूज्ड टू दैट कल्चर बैक होम सो दैट वाज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एडिनबर्ग बेसिकली कम द एंटायर सिटी ऑफ एडिनबर्ग is based on the university of edinburgh basically it's that big that everywhere kahin bhi jao uska ek na ek campus khada hua milta hai matlab okay. university of edinburgh bahut widely spread across the city okay. right so it feels like you're from a very reputed university to so starting when i came it was like itni sare buildings mein kisme jana hai matlab koi idea nahi hai it was so overwhelming but then you that's get used to it of course <laughs> yeah that's true actually so how's the Indian community over there, like uh, are there like oh. good number of Indians and like as a community ban ke like how's that like? Can you talk a bit on that? बहुत है, बहुत है, बहुत है. I feel like and there are so many Scottish people जो इतने सालों से नहीं रहे हैं, जितने Indians उतने सालों से रह रहे हैं. मतलब we okay. met these couple. Is they have been here since past fifty, sixty years. They've been living here. and like okay. in general very strong indian community very strong indian community diwali celebrate karte hai holi celebrate karte hai like whatever you want there are restaurants are indian multiple indian restaurants jo inko zyada pasand hai humse like we go there and they're like okay why are they enjoying this like they're not supposed to eat spicy food but like huge indian community anywhere you go across the uk huge indian communities whether that's london manchester liverpool anywhere you go there is That's you'll nice. get indian food there that's it and, and what it's about good. that food you mentioned food and like i'm a food lover as well so i want to know how's the food there like is it comparable to india or bahut bakwas um are you vegetarian i i eat non veg as well so no you problem. eat non veg so you'll be fine so for me <laughs> but even my non vegetarian friends to be fair like i am pure vegetarian and even my friends so people here So in India we eat more chicken right here they don't eat chicken here they eat beef and we are okay. not so used to beef so they yeah. eat a lot a lot of steaks and beefs a lot of it okay. and it's pretty bland so they don't have salt there's like yeah. no salt no spices in their food okay the, the best thing that they have is like croissants like they're literally what we survive on but like mm-hmm. food is bad yeah not for us okay. 
it's very okay. bland. Okay, so you should be prepared for food then, especially vegetarian. Look, that's what you meant. That's what you were saying. See, but personally, it also depends on your personal dishes, right? Like some people enjoy it. For me, it's too bland. I come from a very like spicy tasting yeah. community, so I like <laughs> spicy food. Got it. So uh, you spoke about the Indian community, but but uh, what about the diversity in the university? Agar le, if there are so many indians like is it like is even the university is like full of indians or like how diverse is the university so the universe basically and have you ever been to mumbai mm, no but i have friends where from there from? Yeah. where you from i'm from hyderabad oh, okay okay so like um you know how mumbai is mumbai has like if you go and if you actually meet the people in mumbai marathi log aadhe se bhi zyada kam hai like very okay, few yeah. maharashtrians jo bachpan se yahan pe rehte hai bahut kam hai mostly aise log hai jo koi rajasthan se aaya koi gujarat se aaya koi kolkata se aaya koi kahi se aaya koi basically it's diverse in its own way like sare type ke cultures are sab hai similarly over here in the entire uk i would say they have become so diverse ki unki khud ki population kam lagti hai international students bahut saare hai bahut zyada hai so from india from china taiwan the whole asia side you get a lot of people from america you get a lot of people from across the uk as well but basically okay. diversity to bahut hai like everyone from everywhere like you meet a lot that's of that's good people. to know that's actually good to know because there are certain places jahan pe bas aap hamare log rehte hain except the professor baki pure to indian si rehte so i wanted to know if, right. if that is the case there so i i had i wanted to explain this point from a mumbai's perspective because i am coming from, like i have always been around people who are like very diverse okay. so and mumbai girls will understand how diverse we are like sab yeah. jagah se log hai and we accept everything yahan pe bhi waisa hi hai like it's everything is there okay so 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 you do you miss your home or do you not or at least like does it help not missing your home <laughs> i can never see i've spent my last 20 years there how can i not miss my home okay, and the gotcha. comfort of having a family and having warm food <laughs> that's all yeah. you want appreciated why you have it <laughs> <laughs> so when you went away when you when you go away from your house i think that's when you know the value i guess yeah <laughs> so uh let's talk about your living situation so uh do you live close to the campus or away from the campus so the university provides with a lot of accommodations which is scattered all over the city now it depends on you what you want you can choose it and they ask you for your recommendations like which all would you want right okay. So during that time itself, I chose this accommodation. This is a little far away from the university. There were a lot of university in the a lot of accommodations in the university as well. But um, मेरे को थोड़ा space चाहिए था and like the city center ones. उसमें literally एक छोटा सा bed and like a very small room. तो बहुत chaotic and very like clustered rooms हैं वहाँ के. Whereas ये थोड़ा दूर है बट इसमें तुम्हें बड़ा रूम मिलता है बड़ा स्पेस मिलता है सो यू नो वेन यू गेट योर रेफरेंसेज यू कैन चूज वॉट यू वॉन्ट सो आई चूज दिस वन विच इज अल फार अवे बट डायरेक्ट बस सर्विसेज है सारे बस स्टॉप है सामने स्टेशन है सामने बस स्टॉप है इट्स अ डायरेक्ट बस स्टॉप विच कम्स इन एवरी टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो लाइक द ट्रांसपोर्ट इज वेरी ईजी एंड द कम्यूट इज वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंट सो यू डोंट रियली हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट नाइस तो एज यू मैं यूनिवर्सिटी ने रेफरेंसेस दी तो आई वांट टू नो लाइक ये अभी ऑन कैंपस अकोमोडेशन है या ऑफ कैंपस व्हेन यू सर्च फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी का पोर्टल सो दैट्स ऑल यूनिवर्सिटीज अकोमोडेशन सो इन सबको यूनिवर्सिटी अकोमोडेशन बोलते हैं जो ऑफ कैंपस व्हाट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑफ कैंपस दैट इज स्टूडेंट अकोमोडेशन व्हिच इज समथिंग जो दूसरे ब्रांड्स एंड दूसरे कंपनीज कहीं कहीं बिल्ड करते हैं जिसमें सेम उन लोग यूनिवर्सिटी जैसा ही बनाते हैं बट उन लोग यूनिवर्सिटी से अलग होता है दे आर नॉट पेड बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी सो दे डोंट कम अंडर द यूनिवर्सिटी नाउ विद यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एडिनबर्ग के अकोमोडेशन यहाँ पे जितने भी लोग हैं एवरी वन इज स्टिंग फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एडिनबर्ग एंड इज डूइंग अ मास्टर्स लाइक अगर तुम ये दोनों क्राइटेरिया में आते हो तो ही तुम यहाँ अकोमोडेशन ले सकते हो Only then okay. can you stay That's here. interesting. That's actually interesting. Whereas, so, whereas, जो yeah. student accommodations होते हैं, student accommodations are 
जो दूसरे दूसरे ब्रांड्स ऐसे बनाते हैं वहाँ पे तुम कोई भी बस यू हैव टू बी अ स्टूडेंट एंड इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट स्टार्टिंग इन एनी यूनिवर्सिटी शो देम योर ऑफ अ लेटर एंड दे विल ग्रांट यूर रूम सो वो भी बहुत टाइप के होते हैं यहाँ पे सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू चूज and which one is expensive or which one is cheaper and what you suggest see it all depends on inclusions and exclusions right now my university is providing all the bills providing me a bike to go to the university and come back oh. it provides us with so there is an e bike because our accommodation is far away from the campus they provide us with an e bike which mm-hmm. you can use to commute like a electric scooter Uh, electric bike yes okay. yes like an electric bike okay so those are the inclusions and you meet people you meet students from your university so it's helpful like you know yeah. you're not meeting random people you're meeting people from your university from your coursework they understand where you're coming from and stuff like that so student accommodation rates are same so it all depends on where you're getting your space the amount of space that you're getting Mm-hmm. but i think charges wise both of them are similar whatever you get you choose so people okay. who are usually late end up in student accommodations because universities don't provide accommodations once you have crossed that limit okay. like the deadline that is yeah yeah okay that's that's interesting so abhi ye jo facilities university provide kar raha hai uh, are they charged by the university or they like free uh, like the bee? electric bike that so, you mentioned and all so electric bike hame free diya hai because we stay away we stay okay. really away from the campus to so pentland my my accommodation ka naam is pentland house and the students from pentland house is granted a an electric bike and 50 pounds ka deposit lete hain but once you give them the bike back they will give you It's your 50 pounds okay. back okay that's actually and they really take care nice. of it yes yeah, it's, it's pretty nice yeah, they have their helpful. own gym as well So the okay. university has its own gym, which is literally the biggest gym I've ever seen. It's like seven floors per gym, oh, which okay. like with like tennis floors and like there is there is different rooms and stuff like that. And for students' ke liye fifty percent off ho jata hai, so it's like pretty cheap. Yeah. Pure saal ka you can take your membership. Okay. And it's like the university gym. Which is very yeah, nice. That that's interesting. Uh, I mean, like maybe like a sports complex. Such if if I'm not wrong, that's what you're mentioning. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's nice. And uh, what about your accommodation type? Like, is it like a single room or a shared room? What is it like? Single ensuite. So my room is single ensuite, which includes one three foot bed, one washroom, and your desk table. Okay, and it's all furni- fully furnished. Really furnished, of course. Oh, that's that's nice. I mean, like because some people used to think that, uh, वहाँ जाके फिर से खरीद रहा है. Like we have to set up a whole house because it university happens in some places at least. No, university accommodation. If you're taking university accommodation, that's why you're paying more. You see, if I go and rent it from anywhere else, if mm-hmm. they are giving me an empty flat, even a two BHK will cost me less than how much I'm paying for this. But okay. because of the facilities that they provide here, the security that they provide here, I have a fully furnished kitchen with um, my personal like they they have provided with two fridge, two microwave, one oven, one heater, like your kettle for yeah. warm water, gas stoves. They have all the cleaning supplies. They provide with all the cleaning supplies once oh. in a week. A cleaner comes and cleans our kitchen, which okay. is a co- common area. So yeah. you know, and that kitchen is used by seven of us. Okay. So it's like one kitchen, seven of us, and a lot of things are provided. So you pay more for it, but it's pretty convenient for someone who's literally coming from a foreign country for the first time and yeah. has no idea where to go. Okay, so uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, so your accommodation style is like a like a dorm, kind of like a dorm where seven people stay, each have their own room, and then you have a common area, common kitchen, all that common stuff. If I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. ऐसे बहुत सारे फ्लैट है 
so like mere samne ek flat hai mere niche ek flat hai niche 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 okay. as a five floors that, that so like means it's a pretty huge apartment <laughs> it's, it's a huge yeah it's a huge building it's a it's it's not a dorm like you can't call it dormitory it's more like a building and you have your own flat aur wo flat okay. ke andar ka ek room tumhara hai baaki room kisi kisi aur ka hai and how But much are you paying <laughs> okay yeah you go ahead luckily we have like uh, khud ke bathrooms a lot of accommodations jo dusre campus ke paas hai they have to share the bathrooms or they have to share the kitchen zyada logo mein aise thode bahut changes hote hain but basically the idea is this that they have flats and you have okay. to compromise on certain things and be okay, okay with certain and what about the rent how much are you paying uh, all inclusive all the bills like what is the rent do you want in iron or do you want in pounds pounds so it's 670 pounds per month 670 that includes utilities and the rent that includes utility and the rent and uh, what about the groceries how much do you spend for the groceries per month it depends on cost to cost approx. Approx. i know that's I, very I'm, I'm subjective sure. i know that's uh, very sub- I, I spend a lot. I can't really give. As well. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I I spend a lot. Like I have no limit. So like, if if people are looking at this and people are like, okay, what the hell? They'll just get scared because it's not <laughs> the same case. Like I know people who are literally spending only three hundred a month, right? Yeah. Which is okay. Which is very manageable. You can survive with three hundred a month very easily. Very easily, you can survive. So okay. I'll just give you a rough bare minimum of like three hundred a month. Give me a ballpark month. number. I'm not giving you my number. I'm, I'm just <laughs> no, just a ballpark. And you'll survive. Three hundred a month, and you'll survive. Three three hundred a month for the food. That's what you mean. For for food, you'll survive. Yeah. Okay. So six seventy, three hundred, and any other expenses that you might want to add, like because I, I'm trying to deduct, like a uh, uh, kind of find out, like what would be a total expense on an average per month for a student studying at your university. Oh my god! I don't know to how to answer that because I literally went shopping yesterday. So <laughs> my bank account is a negative right now. But like, see, it it is really very very subjective. You pay your rent. Once your rent is done, your utilities, your bills, your water, your, everything is done, right? You're sorted for your Wi-Fi. You don't everywhere there is like a new room. There is a Wi-Fi connectivity. Okay. Koi bhi campus mein chale jao, woh direct connect ho jayega. Tumhara Wi-Fi. Okay. Achha. So you have free Wi-Fi access. You don't need mobile data. You don't need anything. Traveling, you get your card, no matter yeah. what. Twenty rupees under के लिए तो free है. Okay. Bus travel and जो उनके ऊपर के हैं, you get your Visa card once in a month. कुछ thirty forty pounds उसका भर दो. Unlimited travel है. जितना travel करना है करो. ये खर्चा हो गया travel का. बाकी food अब depends on you. How much are you Bahar eating ka. out? Okay. Yeah. Right. How much are you cooking at home? How much is your family sending? A lot of people, Indians, के तो बड़े-बड़े cardboard boxes घर से पूरा राशन आता है उनका. <laughs> so they eat बाहर से पर यहाँ का कुछ लगता नहीं है. Yeah. So okay, that's true. That. So uh, it's just that you know, अगर like कोई भी जानना चाहता है पर रफ एक्सपेक्टेशंस के लिए कि कितना खर्चा होता है फॉर द बेसिक नीड्स दैट इज द रीजन आई हैव आई वुड सजेस्ट या या नो आई कंप्लीटली गेट इट आई वुड सजेस्ट सी इफ योर रेंट इज 60 670 पाउंड्स सो अराउंड 1200 पाउंड्स में यू कैन सरवाइव अ वेरी डीसेंट गुड लाइफ वेयर यू कैन पार्टी वेयर यू कैन गो आउट सो 1000 टू 1100 अराउंड दैट रेंज यू कैन यू कैन डू वेल या या Apart from that, even I am a big spender, so I totally get what you're saying. <laughs> Whatever paycheck I get, I try to finish it off. <laughs> But yeah, okay. So, would you like to share, like, uh, like, can you like share a good experience and a bad experience you had till now since your time abroad? Something <laughs> that you would remember or cherish. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The bad experience would probably be um, getting a lot of luggage all by myself. So, like, if you're traveling alone and if your parents are not coming, and you have to get your stuff, please remember you get everything here. I understand you will feel at that point that okay, no, this masala is very important. Trust me, it's not. Trust me, you can go. You can. Get something, something related, and there are a lot of Indian stores. I agree, thoda mehenga hoga, but you'll get it. It's not worth the trouble. Don't get a lot of clothes. Don't like hoarder on everything because you're gonna come here. You're gonna buy anyway. You're gonna. 
I just I would recommend just light packing and don't stress yourself because what I did was I literally I carried so much of stuff and there was like so much the issue of traveling and mm-hmm. first time traveling alone and like that was a really bad experience for me basically okay good yeah. experience just be going to class like i remember the first time i went for my first lecture and like we have listening practices so like because i am a therapist i listen for as a practice and okay. there's a talker who would talk to me as a practice like it's a whole practice session it was so overwhelming and like it just touched my heart and like it was yeah it was the best memory that i have from the city okay. that's really nice i mean like those are certain things i think you can't get it back in india like with the courses it's more about book more from the book right so yeah that's that's something i i would agree to you like that's something really nice i guess so do you have any more advices to the uh, students who are planning to pursue masters at uni- university of edinburgh just do your research hope you like your course like everyone that i'm meeting uh, i just have one suggestion like as long as you love your course you're going to love coming here you have to go through the modules understand what you're going to learn if you don't enjoy that particular topic you won't enjoy your time here like it's very important for you to actually be very passionate about your course so i think yeah that's one feedback i would like to give that's nice that's really nice and actually i wanted to add this question uh, like is there anything in terms of general student life lifestyle aspect waha pe jo you want to tell us that like you know i i asked you about in the uh, uh, about it in university process aspect like in terms of study but now this i want to ask in like general living situation ke bare mein like you know uh, let's say there was one student who said that they generally are supposed to stay three students in a house but they stay six of them so something like that something that you know only when you go there is there anything like that like something i'm trying like to that? understand your question i'm so sorry i got lost a bit um, i'm sorry <laughs> okay let me come again so what i'm trying to ask you is uh like you know like uh, you wouldn't know things till you come to the place abhi like abhi the reality time. of like what the reality you had and how did it i mean as simple as back home you would expect that you would spend your 24 hours with your friends chilling and like you know they'll come you're staying alone so you'll have sleepovers every night and you'll just party all night but then you adult up and you have to understand that you also need to do your laundry and you also need to cook and yeah. do your own dishes and just get life in order and like if you don't wake up there is no one going to wake you up in the morning like i mm-hmm. have missed so many classes and meetings only because i was sleeping till like because no one is coming here and waking me up my alarm i just i just pause it and i'm like no i'm going bed but like yeah. so see That's those true. are certain things that is just living individually so it's not international as per like if you're moving out of your house you're moving out of your comfort zone and there's a lot that you need to work on so i think that was difficult for me but <laughs> that's that's something interesting actually like many people don't expect that because in india you have some other the person working for you oh no 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 you have to cook and then your food will get cold as hell and then you have to go and do your dishes and then while you're back you your food is just lying there and now you don't feel like eating and then you have to wash that utensils it's just it's a pain trust me it's a pain like just doing your own laundry and like you have to pay for your clothes as well right so yeah. basically we don't have washing machines in our flat we have like a communal area with washing machines so you go down there is like a washer there's a dryer you pay 2 pounds for washing and then you pay 1 pound for drying So like for three pounds you're just washing your clothes and it's not even getting ironed and you're doing it by yourself and you're paying three pounds for it. Like I don't understand the point, but yeah, you're still paying for it. I think it's like welcome to international level of adulthood. <laughs> exactly, like you're paying for things that you are doing, but why not? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was really nice talking to you. Thank you so much for sharing all your experiences and. Uh, Yeah it was good to have you here
Thank you. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking to you as well. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. I hope it was helpful. <laughs> oh yeah, I that's what I'm hoping. So let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.